meaning as people that are entrusted with truth and with help, this moment is not something that we can afford to ignore. When social media exploded in the early 2010s, most Muslims and Muslim institutions were not ready. So we had platforms like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube that began to shape how our Muslim youths think. And in Palestine, we're witnessing the most disturbing use of tech in modern day. So what is our response? Are we building the tools that protect them? Are we training our youth and our communities to understand these models? Are we developing alternatives to serve justice instead of oppression? Or are we sitting back and hoping that someone else will handle the technical detail? It's happening because we weren't there first to understand this technology and to then help shape its human. Because every day we delay and every day we choose ignorance over engagement, we allow systems like these to be built without our Muslim voices and without our values and without our resistance. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the trust of khilafa on this earth, he didn't exempt certain domains from our responsibility. When he commanded us to enjoin good and forbid evil, he didn't limit that commandment to our masajid and our madrasas. And the Prophet ﷺ said, من رأى منكم منكراً فليغيره بيده فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أضعف الإيمان. Whoever among you sees a wrong action, then let him change it with his hand. If he cannot, then with his tongue. If he will not, then with his heart. And that is the weakest of faith. And today, uh, the wrong actions are being automated. And if we want to change them with our hands, then we need to understand the hands that are currently. And the great news is we are still early enough in the shift to do things differently. And we cannot let anyone tell us that tech is tech and business is business and our Islamic ethics don't matter. We cannot let anyone convince us that technical work is morally neutral. Every line of code, every model you train, every data set you curate, these are moral choices that will affect some people's lives. So let us rise to this moment and let us be among those who shape...